Hi, my name is Carrie Prasik. I work for the National Park Service as paleontologist and curator at Hagerman Fossil Beds National Monument. Well, we have a little bit of everything. We're Pliocene age. We date between about three and four million years of age. We're known for our horses. Uh, we have the largest early accumulation of Equus simplicidens, which is the oldest uh, single-toed horse. But we also have a lot of uh, carnivorans, birds, amphibians, um, large mammals like giant ground sloths. Uh, it's a very diverse site. Uh, the great thing about paleontology is that there's always new things to discover and it's not even just going out into the field but also in museum and collections. And so I was going through museum and collections looking at the mustelids, so things like otters and badgers and weasels, and I came across this jaw that had been identified as a grison, which is a small South American mustelid. And it turns out to be an otter and in fact a new species of otter. Well, it's always great to find new uh, extinct taxa, but especially with the otter, uh, we have a large otter, Cytherium piscinarium, which is already known from Hagerman's fossil beds. Uh, it's a really large otter that we think gave rise to the giant Brazilian otter in South America. And so now we know that we had two otters. So there's some really interesting questions that you can ask about how they were able to both live in that same area, what kind of um, resource dis uh, differentiation was going on to enable them to both live in the same because um, in fact th that material came from a deposit where some large otter material also came from. Uh, National Park Service, uh, the whole purpose of it is to make sure that the land is available for both current and future generations to uh, enjoy and understand. And there's actually um, several hundred national parks that have fossils in their collections that were found from those lands. Um, there's some specific fossil parks like Hagerman fossil beds and John Day fossil beds, but you can find fossils at a number of different parks. And so we make sure that this material isn't just being collected uh, for private collections, but is available for both the scientific community and the public community to learn and understand from. Uh, for me, I was about six or seven years old and I saw a documentary on the thylacine and I was just immediately enamored by it. Here was this amazing uh, marsupial carnivore that just went extinct in the last century. And so I think that's why I work in more recent deposits because I'm really interested in seeing how much these communities have changed just over the past few million years.